This is a production of Cornell University. Hi, everyone. Uh, hope you are all doing good. My name is Tian Hu. I'm a research associate from Dr. Lili's lab. Uh, today, I will talk about uh, uh, the green function of orange protein uh, in coordinated regulation of photosynthetic pigments. So our lab is interested in phytonutrients, including, including carotenoids and flavonoids. Uh, if you go to Wegmans, sometimes you will find uh, uh, very beautiful cauliflowers with uh, different uh, color varieties, uh, like orange cauliflower, purple cauliflower, and a green cauliflower. Uh, we characterized uh, the orange gene for orange cauliflower, the uh, purple gene for purple cauliflower, and currently we are working on the green gene for green cauliflower. Uh, Today, I will uh, mainly talk about uh, the orange gene with, uh, and its new green function. The orange gene controlling uh, beta carotene accumulation in carotenoid uh, accumulation was first characterized in Dr. Lily's lab. In cauliflower, it's a transposon insertion uh, caused a different splicing in orange gene. Uh, after that, a golden snip in OR gene was also identified in melon, which is uh, caused a uh, amino acid substitution of orange protein caused uh, carotenoid accumulation in melon. Uh, then we uh, identified the functions of our variants uh, in chrom chrom chromoplast formation, carotenoid accumulation, and uh, recently uh, for the chromoplast division, which is orange functions of our, of our variants. Uh, in recent years, we also find that our Y type uh, with, their dif with the different localization in nucleus or Y type of function in chlor chloroplast development. And recently, we have some preliminary results showed that our function in photosynthetic pigment biosynthesis, which, is a green which are the green functions of orange gene. For the orange function, I will briefly talk about that uh, both in cauliflower and in melon, or can induce uh, chromoplast formation and a carotenoid accumulation. However, we find that the chromoplast number is only one or two large chromo chromoplasts in each cell, uh, compared to a lot of chromoplasts in tomato. So why OR induced uh, chromoplast division, uh, div uh, chromoplast formation, but also repress the chromoplast division in uh, cauliflower and melon? Until recently, we got the answer. We find that the mutant version of OR, OR His, can bind uh, ax 3 which is an important factor for chloroplast division. Uh, this interaction uh, affects the binding between ax 3 and PRX6, which finally affects the chromoplast division. So we got an answer of why OR His affects the plastic division. OR is important for carotenoid accumulation and uh, plant nutri nutrition improvement. Uh, it's important for breeding. Uh, it's not only uh, for the orange color of cauliflower, for the melon fruit, uh, and recently OR gene is finally associated with the carotenoid accumulation at major QTLs in sweet potato and carrot. Actually, it is also a, a it is a, uh, also a great uh, uh, candidate gene to uh, and engineer crops uh, like potato, tomato, and rice. In potato, overextraction of OR can increase carotenoid the accumulation in potato tubes in tomato. Overexpression of OR his protein can induce chromoplast formation at the very early stage of tomato fruits. In rice, uh, together with over overexpression of biosynthetic enzymes of carotenoids, OR can increase the accumulation of carotenoids. Uh, then recently we find the uh, nuclear, nuclear localization and its function in chloroplast development. Actually, the nuclear localization uh, of OR has been uh, discovered for years, uh, including the cauliflower OR, the nuclear localization of cauliflower OR, the nuclear localization of Arabidopsis OR, and the nuclear localization of sweet potato OR. However, uh, the biological significance of the nuclear localization of this orange protein 
is still unknown until recently. We find that all our potential dynamic localization during cotyledon greening process. We find the dual localization of ORGFP in both nucleus and chloroplast. The greening pr process, or called the detailation process, is, very, is the most important process after plant seed germination. The plant seedling undergoes uh, significant changes from dark to light growing, including the cotyledon start to open, the chloroplasts begin to develop, the membrane structure inside the chloroplasts uh, begin to uh, reform reformation, the photosynthetic protein complex begin to assembling, and uh, the photosynthetic pigments uh, start to accumulation during this process. Plants need to go through this process smoothly. This process shouldn't be too fast or not too slow. Otherwise, the young plant seedling will be damaged. We find that the overexpression of OR, uh, the nuclear accumulation of OR protein can negatively affect the cotyledon greening process. The overexpression of OR protein causes the delayed greening or detolation process of Artopsis seedling cotyledon. Then we're trying to figure out the mechanism of this uh, phenomenon. We find that uh, OR interacts with a TCP transcription factor in the nucleus. We identified the OR and the TCP14 interaction by ES2 hybrid, and we confirmed the interaction by co-immunoprecipitation. We, we find that their interaction happened in nucleus by bifac assay. Then we find that uh, the overexpression of OR uh, will repress the early light induced protein expression during detailation process. Early light induced proteins play a very important role in photoprotection by binding both chlorophylls and carotenoids during the detailation process. So how does OR re regulate those early light, -indu early light induced protein expression? We find that TCP transcription factor can directly bind the promoter of early light induced proteins uh, by the luciferase reporter assay. And by our chromating IP assay, we find that uh, the OR association with the uh, ELIP1 and ELIP2 promoters through the uh, TCP transcription, TCP14 transcription factor. Interestingly, we also find that TCP transcription factor can directly activate OR gene expression by luciferase reporter assay. Uh, we also uh, tested the gene expression of OR in TCP14 mutant and TCP14 overexpression line. We find that in TCP14 mutant, the OR expression is significantly reduced, while in the overexpression line of TCP14, the OR gene expression is significantly upregulated. So this result suggests that OR gene expression is also regulated by TCP14 transcription factor. So let's go back to the detailation process. During the detailation process, we isolated the nucleus fraction and the plastid fraction. We find that the nuclear OR protein level decreases during detailation process, while the transcription factor TCP14 protein level increases during the detailation process, while the, for the plastid OR protein ac accumulates in chloroplast. So finally, we conclude that uh, during the detailation process, the OR TCP14 uh, together regulate this process, make the process not too fast, not too slow. Uh, the nuclear OR function as a break of the detailation process by repressing the TCP14 transcription factor activity, while TCP14 is an accelerator of detailation process by activating early light induced protein expression, as well as activating OR gene expression. Uh, after light illumination, the OR protein re level reduced in nucleus, while the TCP14 level in uh, nucleus start to accumulate which finally uh, induce chlor chloroplast formation for photosynthesis. Uh, talking about chloroplast, uh, recently we have some preliminary results showed that OR played a, played a critical role in the coordination of both the photosynthetic pigment synthesis, including chlorophyll and carotenoids. Photosynthesis probably is the largest synthetic process on Earth. This animation showed that uh, the plant, land plant fluorescence 
uh, with seasonal change. Uh, of course, those crops like uh, soybean, corn, they uh, contribute a large part of land plant fluorescence uh, in this animation. So uh, what causes those uh, land plant fluorescence and uh, why they are important for uh, photosynthesis and the plants? Of course, chlorophylls and carotenoids, uh, those are uh, photosynthetic pigments uh, can uh, cause the plant fluorescence. Chloroplast is the main site for uh, photosynthesis and uh, chlorophyll and carotenoids play an important role in light harvesting and converting light energy for plants. So the right amount, right composition of photosynthetic, photosynthetic pigments are very important for plants because uh, plants undergo uh, different environmental changes like the seasonal change, the temperature change, the water change. Uh, those photos I took, I took uh, uh, around Bibi Lake. I still remember the good times when I uh, attending a seminar and I take a shot to walk around Bibi Lake and I took a beautiful uh, photos. Uh, we can clearly see that uh, the amount uh, and the composition of carotenoids and chlorophylls change during the seasons. So how are these pigments coordinatedly regulated? Both chlorophyll and carotenoid are synthesized inside chloroplasts. Uh, mechanism collectors is the first uh, committed step uh, for chlorophyll biosynthesis using protoporphyrin 9 as substrate. Mechanism collectors are consisted of four different sub four different uh, subunits, uh, CHLI, CHLD, CHLH, also known as GAM5 and GAM4 subunit. While phytosynthesis, PSY, is the first uh, committed step of carotenoid biosynthesis using GGPP as substrate. Previously, we identified that chloroplast OR is the key regulator of carotenoid biosynthesis. Uh, OR together with clip protein uh, controls the steady level, protein level of PSY in green leaves. So how does chloroplast OR function in photosynthetic process? We take a look at uh, the OR overexpression line and uh, OR mutant, OR OR like double mutant in Arabidopsis. We find that OR OR like double mutant should pale green phenotype and the photosynthetic ability of uh, uh, or mutant is also reduced. So we are wondering, could it just be the result of reduced carotenoid content because we already established uh, the model that OR regulate uh, the uh, com first committed step of carotenoid biosynthesis by stabilizing PSY protein level. Uh, then we take a closer look of the chloroplast of OR double mutant. We find that the silicoid membrane in OR mutant or or like the mutant is missing, so we couldn't we couldn't find any granular uh, silicoid silicoid in or mutants. The granular silicon silicon are uh, rich of light harvesting complexes and uh, photosynthesis too. Uh, when we run blue native gel, we find that in or or like double mutant, uh, the chlorophyll content in many many chloroplast, chloroplast complexes are significantly reduced, especially for the light harvesting complex two assembly for the photosystem two uh, complexes and uh, the higher super complex of uh, photosystems. So this blue net will cl uh, clearly show that chlorophylls and uh, uh, as well as the light harvesting complex assembly is significantly reduced in OR, or like double mutant. Then when we further run the second dimension of this blue native gel and uh, do the western blot of uh, all the subunit of light harvesting complex, we find that uh, the less pigments affect the light harvesting complex assembling, especially the uh, light harvesting complex proteins B1, B2. Uh, they are less assembled in uh, light harvesting complex assembly. So why uh, what caused the uh, chlorophyll uh, uh, reduction in OR, OR, OR like double mutant? Um, we we uh, used uh, several chlorophyll biosynthetic pathway mutants uh, 
uh, and uh, checked uh, the chlorophyll biosynthetic uh, intermediate accumulation mechanism protoporphyrin 9 and protoporphyrin 9. We can visualize uh, those intermediate accumulation by uh, lam laminar scan under laser confocal microscope because they have a specific uh, emission peaks. We find that um, OR or like W mutant shows a similar protoporphyrin 9 accumulation uh, like uh, GOM4 mutant and CHLI mutant, which is uh, the subunit of first uh, committed step of protoporphyrin 9 uh, uh, mechanism calatase to convert a protoporphyrin 9 to mechanism protoporphyrin 9. Then we uh, test the interaction, bet interaction between OR and uh, uh, biosynthetic enzymes of a chlorophyll, chlorophyll biosynthetic pathway. We find that uh, OR directly interact with the mechanism calatase subunit I, CHLI, but not other subunits. We also confirmed this interaction by bifac assay. So what's the role of OR playing in this uh, interaction? Since OR is a molecular chaperone, we performed a uh, refolding assay using uh, different uh, domains, OR N-terminal domain and OR C-terminal domain uh, to incubate with uh, uh, either just tagged CHLI and uh, his tagged CHLI. Uh, we find that uh, only N-terminal domain can increase the soluble fraction of uh, CHLI, no matter tagged with JST or his tag. So this results suggests that OR can prevent CHLI protein aggregation. Then we checked the in vivo evidence. We use CHX to inhibit the new protein synthesis and uh, test the protein uh, stability uh, after CHX treatment. We find that in OR or like double mutant, the stability of CHLI is significantly reduced, while other enzymes for chlorophyll biosynthesis like CRD1 and POB their stability is not uh, significantly affected in OR, OR like double mutant. The core unit uh, D1 of photosynthesis 2 is not affected. The light harvesting complex B1, B2, and B3, although their uh, protein level is lower, are lower uh, in OR, OR like double mutant compared to Y type. However, their stability is also not, uh, not affected by OR, OR like double mutant. So we conclude that OR is essential for CHLI protein stability in vivo. So take taken together with our previous results, we conclude that OR is a master post-transcriptional regulator, uh, coordinately regulator both photosynthetic pigments, chlorophyll, and carotenoid biosynthesis uh, for photosynthesis and chloroplast function. More, specific more specifically, OR can stabilize uh, the first committed step of chlorophyll biosynthesis by stabilizing the CHLI protein and also stabilize the first committed step of carotenoid biosynthesis synthesis by stabilizing phytoin synthesis, uh, as we previously reported. This mechanism uh, provides a potential method for plants better survive under abiotic stress, uh, including light stress, heat stress, drought stress, and so on. Currently, we are still working on this project. Uh, when we take a look at RI seq data, we find that the OR expression shows a big fluctuation under certain abiotic stress, including heat stress, drought stress, and wounding stress. We also tested the OR expression after heat treatment at a 37 degree. We find that the expression of OR uh, is induced by heat stress. We also test the overexpression of OR plants. We find uh, using uh, CSX treatment and uh, heat stress treatment, we find that the overexpression of OR increases the uh, CHLI protein stability and the PSY protein stability under heat stress. So overexpression of OR could uh, increase the stability of uh, both chlorophyll uh, biosynthesis and carotenoid biosynthesis enzymes under heat stress. Then uh, we check the phenotype of OR uh, double mutant and uh, uh, overexpression. We find that uh, even OR or like double mutant showed uh, 
less chlorophyll and uh, normal growth condition. Uh, the plant growth, or uh, more specifically, the plant size is not uh, significantly reduced compared to wild type. However, after heat treatment, we find that uh, the plant growth is significantly repressed compared to wild type. While the overexpression line of OR showed better growth under heat stress condition. So our, our preliminary results showed that OR is important for plant resistance to abiotic stress, especially for heat stress. Then we are wondering, is OR level corre correlated with the fitness of uh, different natural variations? In this case, we are using aerodopsis. Uh, we select, selected uh, uh, several uh, aerodopsis natural variations uh, with low uh, expression, low OR expression and high OR expression. The low OR expression level uh, aerodopsis natural variations uh, rank over zero. Uh, it is reported less resistant to drought, uh, while both uh, rank over zero and the CVI uh, they should should prefer to cold condition. While the high level or expression variation and for E1, which is reported more resistant to drought stress, we are still trying to figure out that uh, it OR is really correlated with the fitness of the Ardosis uh, natural variations. Actually, OR is a very conserved gene uh, in green algae and land plants. So, um, Based on our results, we concluded that as a conserved gene, OR can be a useful tool to elevate uh, photosynthetic potential in crops and uh, variable environmental conditions. In addition to uh, the uh, existing role of OR in enhancing carotenoid production and accumulation for better nutrition. So this work is um, performed in Dr. Lili's group. Thanks for our uh, great group of members and our excellent undergraduate students, Magna and Lauren. Uh, thank you for our collaborators, Dr. Shan Lu from Nanjing University and Michael Mazurik from Plant Breeding and Genetics. Uh, thank you our collaborator, Cassie Oster Young from uh, Michigan State, Uni uh, Michigan State uh, University and uh, her postdoc, Chen Chen, uh, in help with our Chrome Plus Division project. This project is supported by USDA NIFA grant and USDA IRS base funding. So thank you for your attention and I'd like to take your questions. Thank you. Hi, this is Adrian. I'd like to ask um, when you have OR coordinating both the uh, stability of the um, chlorophyll and the carotenoid biosynthesis, how does it coordinate them equally or how, how do you then get the right balance between chlorophyll and carotenoids? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so we find that uh, OR can increase both the stability of uh, two enzymes of PSY and CHL, CHLI. Um, we are measuring the uh, enzyme activity of uh, this enzyme after different conditions to figure out that, uh, to quantify, quantify that how OR affect those uh, enzyme, both enzyme or both uh, chlorophyll and carotenoid synthesis activities. So currently we only have the, uh, only have the, we, currently we don't have the quantification result and we're still working on that. Thank you, that's a great question. Thanks. So any additional questions? So um, Dr. Jianhua asked, how does the OR differ among our doctor's accessions? Um, from uh, our result, we checked that uh, it's roughly about uh, uh, two or three fold among the highest or lo lowest ones. But uh, we are still want to check the uh, protein level. That's just uh, the transcript level. We're going to check the protein level of those uh, uh, natural variations or different accessions. So Tianhu, can you read the question? Uh, yeah. Um, in most plants, there are uh, two copy, two copies, uh, not two, not two copies. Uh, there are uh, OR and OR like in most species, but some, in some species there are more than because the uh, genome duplication. Uh, in 
uh, green algae, there is only a single copy in all the green algae. So it's a highly conserved gene uh, in uh, land plants and uh, green algae. Well, so if there are no more questions, please join me to thank our speaker. Then. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you for listening. This has been a production of Cornell University, on the web at cornell.edu.